Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. I know it's been a while since we did an update on the homestead. Now, one of the reasons for that is we're at the stage right now where the concrete's been poured, we're looking into buying lumber and we're trying to price it. We're trying to get good prices. Uh, everything that seems to be local to us, uh, they're either out of stock or they're extremely expensive. But in the meantime, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed on the food forest. You remember that we did a video talking about uh, all the different trees and bushes, uh, everything that's supposed to have fruit on it. And I wanted to bring you down here and kind of show you how everything's doing. And in the process of doing that, I'm also going to be putting some water on these because it hasn't rained in about a week, any substantial rain anyway. And uh, with these being new start uh, trees and bushes, I want to make sure that they got plenty of moisture in the ground. You see this one here in the middle that's got the actual leaves on it? That one's been in the ground, I don't know, uh, maybe a month longer than the other two. It, it's obviously growing. The other two, eh, I don't know as of yet. They may be dormant or they may actually be dead. I mean, uh, they, they're looking pretty dry. Those, those might be lost causes, but we're gonna go ahead and put some, uh, some water and everything on those just to make sure. closer look here and like I said this is an apple tree but as you can see something's been eaten on it and uh, this is the tree that is closest to the woods over here so we might actually have deer coming out here enjoying feasting on this tree right here so like I said we're gonna have to try and figure out uh, something to do to maybe try to prevent that now this is a peach tree and it seems to be doing okay. You can see that it's, it's surviving right now. Now, this is another apple tree. And uh, you see the difference between this one and the first one. I mean, and, and not all that long ago, several weeks back, all of the, the apple trees looked like this. This here is also an apple tree. So it's, uh, it's also surviving. You can see it's got some new growth right there on the top. So you can tell that that one's doing okay. Now these are plums. And this cutting, this is a, a cutting from a tree, it uh, obviously started dying, but there is new growth coming up. So I'm gonna hold out hope on that one and uh, hopefully uh, it'll keep going. Again, another plum. Actually, no, this ain't a cutting. This is one we actually dug out of the ground. So it's doing well. And the last plum, obviously it's doing well. So. Like I said, we're going to have a line of fruit trees, hopefully, right here. And the one that I really didn't show you, we'll walk back over here. It was off camera, so you didn't see me get to water it, but I've already watered it, too. Now, this is a fig tree. And at one point, all the leaves had fallen off of it, and it was nothing but a twig. So it's obviously starting to come back and uh, holding its own. Okay, so these are blackberries, and these were dug out of the ground. Uh, they're not cuttings, so you can see that it's doing pretty well. This one right here kind of struggled a little bit at first, but uh, it seems to be coming on fairly well now. Another blackberry, same, uh, same thing, looks like it's doing well. There's some new growth on it. And this one's doing the best of all. I'm actually going to end up having to tie this one to the stake soon. But what I want to do is, since I'm out here, you see these stakes that I got set up. I want to 
make a big trellis out of these stakes and have these blackberries and that little stick or those two little sticks that's raspberry now they kind of look that way when we put them in the ground not much has changed same thing with this this is also raspberry uh, again it kind of looked that way when we put it in the ground and not a whole lot has changed since then I'm not sure if these are gonna make it or not but if these raspberries don't make it these blackberries are definitely well on their way so Now, both of these pecan trees were also shipped to us. They came by mail. And uh, this one right here, you can see the other one on over there. We'll take a look at it in a moment. But this one has had the worst time out of the two of them. Uh, it was full of leaves at the top, and they have since fallen off. Um, now, these are holding on right here. I'm surprised. This, this is, these are original uh, that was on the plant when we got it. Now, this sprout right here, and well, there was one down below, and it looks like I probably should have came over and watered it before now, but you can see that there were some sprouts coming out of it. So, uh, it's holding on, but we need to get some water on it here, and I'll do that in just a moment. Now, this other one over here, it came in the mail, pretty much full of leaves. Now, you can see some of them have died, uh, but the others, seem to be holding on really well now this little whatever thing right here that ain't gonna happen I'm not gonna have my uh, my trees choked out by some weed so I'm also thinking that I'm gonna get some of that weed matting and come back over here and put that around the base of these trees so that they're not having to fight the weeds and everything else trying to get their nutrients. I also see that uh, there's some ants here and I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. But anyway, so these are Elliot pecan trees. So let's go ahead and get some water and fertilizer on those. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. God bless. Have a great day. And remember, pay attention to the details. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.